Operation Paul Bunyan Operation Paul Bunyan was carried out on the 21st of August 1976. It directly involved 23 vehicles and 813 men, including 16 engineers, two security platoons of 30 men each, the 165mm gun of an M728 combat engineer vehicle, and 65 members of the South Korean Special Forces. These however were backed up by a platoon of US infantry, orbiting in transport helicopters, accompanied by seven Cobra attack helicopters, and an air component consisting of American B-52 Stratofortresses, F-4 Phantoms, F-111 Aardvarks, and South Korean F-86 and F-5 fighters. Out to sea, the Midway Carrier Task Group were on standby for operations. Other US and South Korean military units, including missile and armoured units, were also on alert, and 12,000 extra US troops had been sent to South Korea. The operation had only one objective, the felling of a single poplar tree within the Joint Security Area of the Demilitarized Zone, the border between North and South Korea. The Joint Security Area, or JSA, is the only portion of the Korean Demilitarized Zone where North and South Korean forces stand face to face. It is used for negotiations and has been a focal point for many incidents since its creation in the 1950s. On the 18th of August, three days before Operation Paul Bunyan, an incident took place that had resulted in the killing of two United States Army officers, Captain Arthur Boniface and Lieutenant Mark Barrett. That morning, with the agreement of North Korea, 19 men of the United Nations Command, UNC, had entered the JSA in order to trim branches of a poplar tree that was obscuring the view from one of the checkpoints within the JSA. The group had been at work trimming the tree for about a quarter of an hour, with axes and mattocks, when they were ordered to stop by the observing KPA officer Pak Chul, because Kim Il-sung personally planted it and nourished it, and it's growing under his supervision. Captain Boniface ignored this and the team continued their work. At this, Pak sent for crowbar and club armed reinforcements, whom he ordered to kill the Americans. Captain Boniface was knocked to the ground by Pack and then bludgeoned to death by the KPA soldiers. The UNC group managed to disperse the North Koreans and recovered the captain's body and retreated from the area. Lieutenant Barrett was nowhere to be seen. Shortly afterwards, the North Koreans were observed to disappear one at a time into a depression by side the tree. A security detachment later found Lieutenant Barrett in that depression with numerous axe wounds. He died during transit to hospital. Three days later, Operation Paul Bunyan was carried out. B and C Company, with the 2nd Engineer Battalion, carried out the actual tree felling in just under three quarters of an hour. The felling attracted a large number of North Korean soldiers who set up machine gun positions but took no actions to stop the work. In response to the appearance of North Korean soldiers, the helicopter and aircraft elements of the force approached closer to the scene in a show of force. Upon completion of the work, the task force exited the JSA without incident, leaving behind a 20-foot tall stump. Later that day, shots were fired at a US helicopter near the North Korean controlled part of the JSA, but otherwise the operation concluded peacefully. The commander of US forces in Korea since that time carried a swagger stick made from the wood of the tree, and the Joint Security Area's advanced camp was renamed Camp Boniface, in honour of its company commander. In 1987, the tree stump was replaced by a monument to the two murdered men.